going on, my Savage family? How's everybody doing today? How's everybody's week? It's starting the weekend, and I'm going to do some reactions. I'm trying to get back to on track and all that on doing this. I kind of miss doing this because it's fun, and I like watching videos anyways, and I like watching different kinds. This one, this video is from Slap Ham. He just released a book. Last night, these are scary EVPs and sounds that will scare you stiff. Now, as you can see on the screen, you see Robin Williams. He passed away a long, not long, long time ago, but long ago. Long enough. And we all miss him. He's a funny guy. You know, miss the old movies. And it might look like it might be in this video. From the quotes I can see on the screen alone, I must have got it wrong, which I don't know the meaning of that. So anyway, I got this light on. I'm gonna go cut it off. All right, we're back. <laughs> I hit my knee on the fucking thing. Um, you might see me be drinking a little bit. I just had pizza, so as cool as I'm on. Like I said, this is by Slap Ham. If you guys enjoy watching this video, and if you want to see a little bit of his videos that he makes, link will be in the description down below. So let's get into this. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Ham. Today we're looking at some scary EVPs and sounds that are sure to scare the heck out of you. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Redditor Golden Whamsey posted this unsettling bit of footage. When this urban explorer set out down this abandoned tunnel, he was most likely hoping for some terrifying thrills in the darkness. However, it turns out that something much more menacing was waiting in the shadows. In this short clip, we can see the camera holder head into the dark, decrepit tunnel, with only the light from his camera to cast a faint glow on the run-down, shadowy walls made of crumbling grey stone. For the first few seconds of the video, the tunnel is almost silent. The only noise that intrudes the eerie quiet is the sound of the explorer's footsteps as he heads deeper into the tunnel. Suddenly, the silence... I myself want to find some tunnels to go into. Haunted ones, if I could find some. I'm still looking in on that. It's kind of hard because people will keep it secret because a lot of people go and damage the properties, damage all of it, so we can't have our, time, our fun going in and exploring and all that. A lot of people will just graffiti, break stuff, and do s really stupid stuff inside them. So, it's kind of hard to find places, but I'm trying to get a little here and there. Is look at, I'm trying to do research, and I'm hoping I can find some people that know places too, and get a hold with them and see what I can do. It's a work in progress, but we're going to find some. So the tunnel is shattered in the most terrifying way imaginable as a horrifying howl echoes through the blackness. The howl is strange. It doesn't sound like any animal, but it also doesn't sound entirely human. See, that's when you go backwards. Some viewers have that. speculated that another person was waiting deep in the tunnel to make the terrifying noise. Yet something about the howl seems too animalistic. Yeah, that's not ours. Other viewers believe that some sort of creature or entity made the sound as a warning. Turn back now or suffer the consequences. Either way, would you be sticking around in this creepy tunnel after a terrifying noise like that? Let me know in the comments section below. Honestly, I'm stubborn and I probably will go deeper. <laughs> I probably will. But if I can sense, like, if my body senses, like, everybody's body can sense danger, it's natural for us to sense it. 
But if I could sense that it's not good at all, like if I go a little more, something's going to happen, I will back down. Cause it's not a risk to take. Like you don't know what it is. You don't see it. But I probably will go in just a little bit. Just a little bit. And if I feel that it's not safe enough to go more, I'll back down. Because that's way too dangerous. And if you can't see it, it's more dangerous. And, you know, if you don't see it coming, it, it, it's more, you know, scarier. It's just devastating. Uh, YouTube channel Soul Searching is known for sharing haunting videos and scary EVPs. In this visit place. to the Velisca Axe Murders House in Velisca, Iowa, USA, terrifying oh, noises really? became the star of the show. According to the investigators, the ghosts responded to several attempts to make... A lot of people went there. A lot of YouTubers went there. I, that's how I know the place. I've never been there, of course. I'm in Florida. That's in Iowa. I think that's what it said. And yeah, <laughs> nah, I've never been there, but I really want to go there one day. Contact the scary EVPs they recorded are truly haunting. Firstly, while the crew was setting up equipment in the barn, a tape recorder caught the phrase I'm Noah and the cats lie on me being whispered by a disembodied voice. Yeah, look at that. I broke. in one of the bedrooms strange banging noises are heard along with the phrases it's out there and I'm Katie even creepier EVPs were captured in the children's bedroom a voice saying cast out the devil my head and good night Room investigators recorded Dream That Dream on a digital recorder and numerous orbs on a video camera. This home belonged to the Moore family in the early 1900s. In the early morning of June 10, 1912, all six family members and their two house guests were found murdered. A lengthy investigation resulted in several suspects, two of whom were brought to trial, but were found not guilty. The house has been owned and lived in by several families since these murders took place. None stayed long. Each family reported strange happenings, including disembodied footsteps, things moving, voices, apparitions and strange shadows. I don't think this house will be going off market again anytime soon. Oh, no. Would you be brave enough to live there or even just spend one night in this creepy old house? Let me know what I would love to spend one night in that house. I love creepy stuff. That's why I'm not really creeped out about these videos that much because I love that stuff. You know, I'm not much of a horror movie kind of guy. I mean, I like some of them, but a lot of them are cliche. But real life stuff like this, real life stuff, I like that a lot. And I really want to go inside the house one day. One day I will. Yeah, it's in Iowa. You know, it's a far, far, either if I drive or fly, it's still far. And, um, yeah. One day I will get there and I'll be doing stuff like that. Going to different places. I really want to start doing that. It's just going to take time. But it's going to happen. You do in the comments yeah. section below. When Slaptown viewer Christina received the first video of her newborn nephew, 
she wasn't expecting to hear any scary EVPs. But it seems like this little guy has managed to capture a ghost's attention in his first days of life. The video, recorded in Valley Medical in San Jose, California, USA, shows the baby's mother attempting to awaken the sleeping child in his hospital bassinet. While filming, the mother doesn't notice anything unusual, but when she was editing the video later, she noticed a harsh, ghostly voice whispering, wake up, to her sleeping son. Many paranormal believers claim that children are more easily able to perceive the supernatural than adults. This video seems to offer some proof of that claim. Just after the voice speaks, the baby opens his eyes and begins fussing in his bassinet. Is it possible that he heard the terrifying voice? This video was recorded while the mother and child were still in the hospital, so hopefully the spirit remains there. It's thought hospitals are a common location for ghosts to hang around because of the high number of deaths that occur in their rooms. If this little man is lucky, this will be the last encounter he has with a scary EVP. No judging. Thursday. In this video from Ghosted UK's YouTube channel, a ghost seems to have spoken up either in an attempt to help or to be terrifying. Listen closely to the video and judge for yourself. The video is almost entirely black as an unexpected power outage has plunged the group of paranormal investigators into darkness. It's thought the presence of a ghostly entity can wreak havoc on electricity, so it's possible that the loss of lights is the first clue to the presence of a paranormal visitor. Could be. For much of the video, we can only hear the voices of people scared and exasperated by the loss of electricity. Yes. Okay, we'll swap that. Yeah, I'll swap People call out into the darkness, instructing others to find a light. After a few seconds, a faint light illuminates the area, allowing us to see some of the people who were caught in the darkness. At first, the occurrence doesn't seem that unusual. However, if you listen closely while the people are calling out for light, it becomes clear that one of the voices is not of a natural origin. As the cacophony fills the air, a ghostly voice growls the words, get a life or get a light. I can't see, can you the light? If it was the latter, the presence could have simply been trying to help. On the other hand, if it was saying get a life, there could be some creepier connotations to these scary EVPs. Let me know in the comment section below which one did you hear? Get a light or get a life? Redditor Cody Meniz64 lives near the site of the King Philip War Battlegrounds in Bristol, Rhode Island, USA, which is believed to be haunted. The scary EVPs recorded here seem to justify this claim. One night, the usually quiet area was interrupted by the rhythmic beating of a snare drum. The drumming heard in the video is reminiscent of the types of melodies drummed in old wars as the troops march into battle. According to Cody Maniz 64, the drumming continued to echo through the neighborhood for three hours. Wow. King Philip, otherwise known as Metacomment, was a Native American chief who was beheaded on the very street where this video was recorded. His death occurred during a long and bloody war in which Metacomment led a group of warriors from several Native American tribes in an attempt to push European colonists out of New England. In 1676, Metacomet was fatally shot. The vicious war lasted for another two years after his death, resulting in a colonial victory and countless casualties. Could the eerie drumbeat be somehow linking back to this violent past? It might be. Given its bloody history, it's unsurprising that paranormal energy would abound on the spot where Metacomet lost his life. 
perhaps these ancient battlegrounds are best left undisturbed. That's crazy. Before we listen to some compelling evidence that may suggest Robin Williams oh. is in the afterlife, remember to hit that subscribe Robin button, Williams. then tickle that little oh. bell icon there. That way you'll get notifications every time we upload our mysterious and scary videos. When actor and comedian Robin Williams died in 2014, the world was shocked and saddened. His laughter and humour would be missed by many who were heartbroken by the loss. However, because of a series of videos uploaded to YouTube by Charlie Chitton and Paranormal and Huff Paranormal, some believe the beloved comedian may not be gone for good. Charlie Chittenden recorded his videos using a ghost box, attempting specifically to make contact with Robin Williams in the afterlife. Ghost boxes operate by scanning radio frequencies in an attempt to capture EVP. See, I got that, but that's on the phone, and it's a little better than that, because you don't hear that here, that one. That's the one I was talking about that costs, like, a hundred or something dollars, and you can hear the static, you know, the ch ch ch, -ch crap. That's what that is, and I got one for the phone, which is made by real, you know, paranormal investigators, and they designed it for this, and they knocked off the, the static, they knock off all that, it only pops up words that is strong enough where it seems like something, it picks up all the stations still, like it does on that, but it doesn't have that ch -ch crap. And it was only 10 bucks. So it's a lot better to spend 100 something bucks for something that plays white noise. So now you know the difference. <laughs> At first, the ghost box seems to make contact with other spirits, one of which says, Robin's gone, that's over. <laughs> Charlie continues his questioning, with some ghostly voices seeming to provide answers to his questions. However, it isn't clear if it's Williams' voice. Your reasons for doing this may have been that you were suffering from Louis body dementia. Could you confirm this was part of the reason? In Charlie's second attempt to communicate with Williams using the ghost box, Charlie again asks Williams' spirit to come forward and speak. The scary EVPs continue in this session with ghostly voices popping up occasionally, providing unclear and cryptic responses to Charlie's questions. Robin starred in films such as What Dreams May Come. In the Huff Paranormal video, the host also attempts to use a ghost box to communicate with the late actor. The first attempt in making contact occurred on the day that Williams died. A voice speaks up saying, we're waiting, in a tone that the investigator believes matches Williams' voice in life. Are you there, Robin? <laughs> the voice makes other statements that sound kind like of. Williams kind and of. could suggest that he's in the afterlife, such as the phrase, I must have got it wrong. <laughs> The investigator makes further attempts to contact Williams. In his third attempt, the most compelling EVP comes through. The voice states, I'm dead, in a tone that sounds exactly like Robin Williams. This session ends with the hopeful phrase, there is light and I'm here with dad. This suggests that the beloved actor may have found peace wherever he is. That's crazy, man. It does sound like at the end it does sound like him. At first it kind of is kind of touchy on that because it had a little difference in the voice. But the last two, I believe, two EVPs sound just like Robin Williams, and that's crazy. And like I said, I used the, the Spirit Box app 
most of the time and I'm gonna try to be using that if I go somewhere. But the stuff I believe in this stuff, this stuff's real. I seen it firsthand, heard heard of it firsthand. And I like to get more into it, it's just I need to find places, you know? But it will happen soon. And it's here and there, and just waiting for something. Is hopefully something pops up. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do, and I really like this stuff. This is by Slap Ham again. Link will be in the description down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, man. If you hit it, and I catch you guys on the next one. Hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.